<laughs> so weird. Hello? Is this Steve? Yeah, who's this? It's Vince McMahon. Wait, really? Really. <laughs> wow. That's great, Vince. What's going on? Ratings are terrible. My entire creative staff is crap. Really? They're all fired. Every damn one of them. Except Road Dog. He's good. I mean, that's weird that you would tell me all this, but, I mean, that's good, I guess. I need your help, though, Steve. You're gonna write raw for me. What? I like your ideas on that podcast of yours. Only your ideas. The other guy makes me wanna, wanna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna puke. Aw, really? I think Larson's really good at fantasy booking, Vince. He's a turd. Now is your time to shine. You're gonna book Raw. Can I hire anyone I want? No way. Can I hire everyone in New Japan and bring them over? Only people on the roster. Only people available to play with in 2K17. Yeah. Even the old guys. Yeah, that's okay. How about this? Can I raise the dead? Can I bring back the Von Eriks to feud with the Freebirds? That's okay, too. I want Eddie Guerrero to be on Raw. But he's so small. He was the best, Vince. Yeah, he was. And Steve, if you fuck up, you're fired. All right, man. I'll do what I can. Nice. Hey, friend, old Steve here. So, a couple weeks ago, I was on uh, my Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash mfsteve here. You don't have to go follow it. I'm not really on it that often. Um, but I was dicking around in WWE 2K17's Universe Mode, which I really don't do that often. I haven't really done that much. Um, I mean, we use it for uh, the uh, W, Steve W, and fun wrestling stuff. But, you know, we basically use that to capture promo footage. Uh, and then we drop our own dialogue in it using uh, Premiere. Um, but I've never really used universe mode. And one of the questions we get a lot is, Steven Larson, how would you guys book like today's product? And I was thinking to myself, you know what? 2K18 is probably like two months away. Why don't I dick around in universe mode um, just for fun and just sort of to book raw how I would make it today? If Vince McMahon did in fact call me and say, Steve, I need you to book raw. How would I do it? How would I go about doing it? And also if I could bring back the dead, and use old guys. But I'm not using any creator wrestlers. So CM Punk's not going to be in this. Even though if he was available as a roster member. He totally would be. But I'm not going to use any creator wrestlers. Um, I'm just going to use like the roster that is available on 2K17. Uh, how would I book shit if I sort of had the powers of God. And time and space. And I can bring people back from the dead. Um, what would I do? So I, I think I got a good mix. I sort of uh, jotted down my roster earlier today. I think I've got a decent mix. Um, in terms of my roster of people who are around today and then a couple legends who I'd like to see and then just sort of personal proclivities like, you know, guys that I, I think would be fun to see um, uh, show up on Raw. And then we're going to go through universe mode. That's what we're going to do because why not? It seems fun. And yeah, I'm not going to just sit here and watch the computer play itself. I'm going to be playing as whoever I feel like playing. So you guys along for the ride or you're not. I don't really care. If you guys just like the skit that I do at the beginning, I'm probably going to do one of those for every episode I do here, uh, but we'll see. Anyways, as you can see right now, I am on the screen for uh, sort of the details of the show. I already went through. I changed the logo um, that 2K17 has to the current day logo, um, so I changed some of that stuff around. So the presentation seems a bit more like it is today as opposed to like a year ago. Um, but anyways, when deciding on what championships... To, to book on my show. There's no SmackDown, all right? I got the entire roster that I want. I picked the best from the best that I think. I put them on Raw. I'm acting like there's no SmackDown. Maybe I'll do a SmackDown with people like this, and I'll book like a different belt. Um, but anyways, uh, very important. World Championship, which one to use? This is the one time I am actually going to use something custom because somebody came out with this really beautiful un undisputed championship. Look at that. That's a good-looking belt right there. So you know what? Whoever made this... I don't know who it was. I'm going to go ahead and select that for my world title, because why not? And yeah, we're still going to have uh, Brock Lesnar as the world cha uh, champion. But I think in the first episode of my Raw, I'm going to take that belt off him. Uh, for the singles title, that's sort of the mid-card belt. 
Um, I'm going to make that again. Wait, no, 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 no. I think there was actually a title in here that I'm, I'm cool with. There's a lot of options here. I can go with a million dollar championship, um, a TV championship. Odd that WWF never had a TV championship and everybody else did. I could make it the NXT championship, but I'm not going to do that because like a lot of the NXT guys that I like aren't even NXT right now. Like Aleister Black, he's not on the, he's not on the roster in here anyways. Um, so... So I'm going to make this, this is a decent looking belt, but it's got bow leave plates on it. So I'm not going to use that for my mid-level title. Um, I think what I'm going to do is go with the United States Championship, but the WCW version. Look at that. It's a beautiful title. I'm not going the Intercontinental Championship. I'm going with the WCW United States Championship. I always liked that belt. I thought it was a beautiful belt. I always felt that was WCW's main event belt because guys like Booker T, Benoit Guerrero, Booker, uh, how do you say Booker T, uh, Raven, they all carried that title. So I think... You know, the best wrestlers in WCW carried that belt. The world titles for the old guys who couldn't move around very well. So I'm going to say that's going to be the belt that my Raw is uh, for, like, the best actual wrestlers, not just the guys who draw a lot of money. In this case, the guy who does both, AJ Styles, he's going to be my WCW United States champion. Um, it doesn't have to be logical because I'm booking raw. Uh, tag titles. Interesting that uh, they don't really have a lot of options here. This is my favorite looking one, the WCW one. But I understand this is WWF. We should. Uh, we're gonna keep it to that. I don't like the the current penny belts. I don't like those titles. Um, so we're gonna go with these old school ones. These these are the titles that were around back when back when I was uh, I was watching. Who's gonna be our tag champions? Um, let's see here. I have my roster written down. We're going to get to the roster in just a second. Um, I'm going to give it to, I'll give it to, uh, you know what? I'm going to, I'm going to give it to the revival. That's who I'm going to give it to. Where is, uh, Dash Wilder? There we go. The revival or the tag championships. That women's championship is like one of the most beautiful belts I've ever seen in my life. The women are going to keep that title because that's a beautiful title. So, uh, there we go. There's the titles. Uh, we're going to go back. Number of matches are going to be down to five because I don't really have like a whole lot of time. Participants. Um, okay, so we got to build our roster. You know, McMahon called me up. He said, build your roster. Number one, it already pre-fills a bunch of people, but we're going to put AJ in there. Um, no, Alexa. We are going to put Alundra Blaze Medusa. She's going to go in there. Sorry, Andre. You're slow. Arn Anderson, he goes in. Who doesn't want him? Asuka, she goes in. Uh, we're going to put the four horsewomen in there in the women's division. Uh, let's see here. You know what? I feel like the New Day, they've been, they've been, it's, it's too much New Day. So I'm going to keep them off for now. Um, I'm just trying to get some out of the box. I mean, no big show. We don't need any big show. He's, by the time I take over Raw, he's going to be retired. Oddly enough, no Bray Wyatt. I don't want any Bray Wyatt on my, on my roster. Who's going to surprise everybody? Putting Bret Hart on my roster. That's right. Bret Hart's going on my roster. He is going to be in. So I've got four divisions. I've got the unified, the, the undisputed champion, the U.S. title, the women's, and the tag. And I've got seven uh, roster spots for each one. Bret Hart is going to take one of those. Um, also, uh, Brock Lesnar is already there. Bubba Ray, you're out. Uh, let's see here. Cactus Jack, I'm sorry, but no. Cesaro, I'm sorry, but no. Chad Gable, no. Jericho, even. Sorry, Jericho, no room for you. Uh, Devon, no. Curtis Axel, no. Dana Brooke, no. Daniel Bryan, absolutely. Of course, he should be wrestling right now. Screw those concussions, who cares? Dash Wilder, yes, you're the tag champion right now. Uh, yeah, I'm not putting that guy in there. Uh, let's see here, who else we got? Uh, no, sorry, Dusty. Eddie, maybe if we start booking SmackDown. Now that I think about it, I might actually do a SmackDown as well because it could be cool. Um, no Emma, no Enzo, no Edge. Oh, I'm so tempted to put Eva Marie on there. You know what? <laughs> Eva Marie goes in there, man. Need the sex appeal, right? Finn Balor's in. Fernando, you're out. Uh, let's see here. Who else? Goldberg. Uh, I should put Goldberg. Gold oh, yeah. I think you know, Goldberg's on my roster for the big money draw division. That's what that division's called, the big money draw. Heath Slater, sorry, I know you got kids. Uh, oh, man, I really wanted a Deo Atami in here. Oh, you know what? I'll replace him. A Deo Atami. There you go. Kind of a, you know, he's in NXT right now, but it's kind of an outside the box. I think I like a Deo Atami. He's going to go in. 
Um, no Hunter Hearst Helmsley, but his alter ego might be in there. Uh, no Jacqueline, no Ivory, uh, no JBL, no Jake Roberts. No Usos, because they've got like old school Usos. They don't have the new Usos. John Cena, biggest draw of the day. Yes, he's in. Absolutely. Uh, Jurassic Man. Oh, Kevin Nash, part of the Outsiders. They're in my tag division. Also in my tag division, the Von Erichs. Also in my tag division, the club. That's right. Uh, Von Erich, Kevin Owens. Yes, he made the cut. You're in. Uh, Kofi, you're out. Uh, Zabisco, part of the Enforcers. He's in with Art Anderson. Luger. Oh, I don't have Luger in there? Man, I should have a scrub division. The scrub title. Oh, man. I saw, I need to make a... Maybe on SmackDown I'll put a scrub title on there. No Luger. That makes me sad, though. And sadly, no... Wait, Lita? I put Eva Marie in there. I'm going to replace Becky Lynch with Eva Marie. And you know what? I'm going to do this. I'm going to replace Bailey with Lita. Lita's in. Uh, Harper, you're out. Uh, let's see here. Who else? Uh, Mark Henry. I love Mark Henry. But he might go to SmackDown. I said at the beginning of the show I'm not going to do a SmackDown. Hey, guess what? Freebird's in. Uh, let's see here. Uh... Mr. McMahon 01, I'm actually going to put him in. I don't have him on my roster, but I'm going to put him in. Why not? Uh, Neville, no. I love Neville, but this is face Neville. New Jack, I love him, but mm, that's scary. And New Jack's a creative character anyways. Uh, Nia Jax, you're out. I would put the Young Bucks in here, but it has to be current. Like, people who are like on the act. No creative wrestlers. Paige, you're in. Uh, R-Truth, you're out. Uh, let's see here. Authors of Pain, No. Randy Orton, no. Rick Rude, no. Flares, no. The Rock. The Rock 01. Look at this. Look. No event. That's a terrible looking rock from 2001. It's hilariously bad. But he's in. Rusev, no. Roman Reigns, no. Sami Zayn, surprisingly, no. I gave his spot to Adeo Tommy. Scott Hall, as part of the Outsiders, yes. Scott Dawson, yes. And Samoa Joe, yes. And Sasha Banks, yes. Seth, no. I'm sorry, Seth. You've been kind of boring as a babyface lately. Shawn Michaels, yes. Because he's going to be part of DX in my tag division. Shinsuke, yes. Sheamus, no. Sin Cara, no. Stardust, no. Maybe it's Cody Rhodes. Stone Cold Steve Austin, yes, absolutely. Um, Sting, no. Man, I would... See, this is one reason why I want to do SmackDown. Because who doesn't want Wolfpack Sting on their roster? No, not, not this one. But on SmackDown, maybe. Uh, Titus, no. I love, I love I love the work Titus is doing right now. Triple H, yes, as part of DX. Uh, let's see here. Who am I missing? Tyson Kidd, Ultimate Warrior. Who wouldn't want Ultimate Warrior? Not me. Big Dead, Dead Man Inc., Big Evil. Yeah, he's in. Undertaker's in in that main event scene. He's a big money draw. Xavier Woods, goodbye. All right, I think that's everybody. I think that's everybody that I want. AJ, let's see here. No Alexa Bliss. I like Alexa Bliss. A lot of people say that I dump on Alexa Bliss. I don't. I like her, but she's not on my roster. Uh, Becky Lynch, you're out. Bailey, you're out. Uh, let's see here. What else we got? Just want to make sure I got everybody. On Eric's Revival Club, Outsiders, Freebirds, Enforcers, and DX. My tag division is so stupid. All right, press to accept. Is that numerically correct? Uh, seven, seven, and seven. I feel like I'm missing two. Uh, Zena, Brock, AJ, Tom. Wait, 38. It's, uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven. That should be 14. Oh, 21. Oh, I got, I got a couple extras. Whatever. Oh, yeah, because I put McMahon in there. All right, anyways. Except the show's already in progress. I don't... What? What? I don't care about that. Anyways. Alright, here we go. Whoa, I did not ask for Seth Rollins. John Cena versus Samoa Joe. <laughs> that's going to kick off. Whoa, that's going to kick off. Let's let's edit our first episode of Raw here. We're going to open with a show promo. And we're going to form a tag team. Uh, nope. Let's see here. We're going to form the tag team of who? Look, who doesn't want to kick off the show with Triple H and Shawn Michaels? 
No, you know what? We're going to do this. Self-promotion. Because huge news. Eva Marie says she's leaving WWE. Wrong. She's coming back to WWE. It's a self-promotion Eva Marie. That's what that is. First match of the night, John Cena versus Samoa Joe. Who doesn't want to see that? Although they're in different divisions, we're going to change this. No, we're not. Samoa Joe's going to be trying to make his way up into that uh, middle card promo. Edit. Uh, call out. Oh, I forgot to set rivalries. Uh, let's do that. Let's set rivalries first. Go back. Rivalries. Here we go. All right. Rivalry. Rivalry. Um, let's do two on two. Let's do a short rivalry. And we're going to have... Uh, I know what we're going to do. We're going to do... DX versus... The Outsiders. That's what we're going to do. Triple H. Oh, look at the... Oh, yeah, that's good. All right, that's what we want. Accept. Next rivalry. One-on-one. -on -one, we need a men's rivalry. Choose the rivals. This is what we're going to do. Bret Hart versus... Boom. Why is Darren Young on my roster? Get out of my roster. Yeah, it's going to be a long rivalry because who doesn't want to see that? Except this. Rivalry type. Rivalry type. Choose rivals. We need a women's rivalry. So we're going to have Asuka. This is something you always want to see. Asuka and Charlotte. Boom. Rivalry made. Look at that. Who doesn't want to see all this stuff happening right here? So we go back. Because we are done with all with our rivalries. Try saying rivalry three times fast. All right, everything is looking good so far. Right now, I'm thinking Vince McMahon is thinking this guy knows how to book. This guy knows what he's doing. Uh, back. Yeah. Okay. All right. Continuing on. Edit show. Perfect. Self promotion promo. Then we've got the outsiders versus. Uh, DX. Then middle card promo. We're going to we're going to turn face. Brock Lesnar is going to be a face. <laughs> Even though what the hell? Hell no! I'm not doing this one. Edit this crap. Participants. Our truth and gold dust are not fighting on my show. I'm sorry. Uh, but you know who will fight on our show? Uh, the team of. Ooh, this is going to be a good one. This is going to be good. We're going to do... Wait. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I put custom. Eh. We're going to do Arn Anderson. Yes, control. I'm going to control... Oh, man. Larry Zabisco. Uh, what the hell? Superstars. Yeah, Dash Wilder. Superstars, Scott Dawson. And... Except. Wait a second. I don't want two tag matches immediately. Hold on. This isn't going to be... I don't want this to be tag heavy. No, 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 no. Hold on. What else we got going on? Oscar versus Charlotte. Brock Lesnar versus Darren Young. No. Uh, edit this. Customize match. This is going to be one-on-one. -on -one. False count anywhere. And we're going to have... Uh, superstars. We're going to have Bret Hart taking on why they're always trying to push Roman Reigns. Daniel Bryan. Accept. Look at that. Big money match. Who would want to see that? All right. So we're going to turn Brock Lesnar face middle card promo. And then our, our main event is going to be Oscar versus Charlotte. Oh, man. Oh, what the heck? That was weird. All right. Bret Hart versus Daniel Bryan. And then middle card promo is going to be edit this. It's going to be... We're going to have somebody call somebody out. We're going to initiate a rivalry between... Ooh, I know what we're going to do. Between Finn Balor and, of course, Shinsuke Nakamura. Look at that. And then our main event's going to be Asuka versus Charlotte. I think that's a fantastic show. Going to hit accept there. And I say we kick this off. All right. Time for some extra long loading screens. All right. Here we go. Look at that. 
Look at that raw set. I think I, uh... Yeah, I downloaded that set from somebody. It's called Raw 16. And it's one of the more down... It's not the most downloaded current raw set. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Coming to you from Santa Clara, California. Oh, look at that. The insane level of booze she's receiving, ladies and gentlemen. It's off the charts. People cannot still <laughs> Man, that crowd is extra hot for Eva Marie. Look at all those thumbs down. Look at that. Oh, my God. They hate her. They hate her so much. Look at her. She's all smiling. She's like, oh, don't you love me? Those people hate her. So, big, huge, surprising news. She's not going. I'll adapt to the supporters and haters. So, that's okay. I've got some haters out there. I respect that. You know what? I hate you, too. For the ones who support me, guess what? I love you, too. It's a give-and-take relationship, and I'm happy to, to adapt to how I'm treated. Well, that's a good attitude for even Marie to have. Uh, oh, she's going to say she's the hardest working superstar. I'm ticked off. What? Am I not supposed to say that? Look, it's a PG show. Otherwise, I'd be saying something else. But I am damn pissed. And everyone in that locker room knows why. I got a lot of problems with you people. Man, you're really laying into people. Uh, she's calling out the whole locker room. As far as I'm concerned, I'm the lone wolf. I don't need a WWE Universe, it's like I don't need any superstar in the back. If you're on the roster, you're my competition, you will be annihilated. Uh, the authority, I am a gift to this world, how about that? I feel like even that's something she would actually say. She says, the jealous ones who want to be me, which are most of them, will see that they can never be me. I'm a rare gift. A destiny created solely for a queen like me. All right, Eva Marie. Wrap it up. What's the sign for wrap it up? Uh, I'm done playing nice. There we go. I'm done playing nice. I know what I want, so I'm going to get it. I hope the women are here are ready for me. If not, they're going to get destroyed. All right. Look at that performance. Excellent performance to kick off Steve's Monday Night Raw. All right, here we go. Kicking off our first match of the Steve. Oh, look at that. N-W-O. You'll notice I have no music playing. Look at that. The outsiders are just too sweet. That's right. Here we go. Look at that. Kevin Nash. His knees are looking good. Scott Hall looking sober. Not looking too puffy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's DX. There they are. It's DX. Go after them. Uh-oh. They can't hear us. They can't hear what we're doing. I think I'm cute. Uh-oh. They're turning around. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. Ah, oh, they're going at it on the ramp. Big neck breaker from Shawn Michaels, the heartbreak kid. Stomping on Scott Hall. Oh, look at that. Dropping a huge elbow on him. Suck it! <laughs> Come on, Hunter. Let's get in the ring. Oh, it's suck it, Nash. Oh, look at that. They're beating up on Kevin Nash immediately to come out, come out strong here. DX. Oh, look at that. Big elbow drop on Kevin Nash. Uh-oh. Let's see if Shawn Michaels can get his fellow click member. Oof. Let's see if we can get him down for the count. Oh, look at that. Strong reversals from the heartbreak kid. Oh, look at that. Big strong punch. Suck it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, look at that. Mass big punch right there. Big right hand to Kevin Nash's face. Uh-oh. Oh, goes for a pin. I did not try to do that. I don't know why. Goes for an early pin. Where's Scott Hall go? Why is Scott Hall not... Oh, there he is. Oh, shit. Irish whip against the ropes. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. Shawn Michaels. Brute strength right there. Uh-oh. Whoa, he's going for the sharpshooter on Kevin Nash. It's going to destroy his knees even more than they're already destroyed. Oh, can he make him tap out? Can he make him tap out? Come back here, Kevin Nash. Come back here, Kevin Nash. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. The big man kicks Shawn Michaels off him. Oh, shit. Oh, oh no. Oh, too late. Damn it. Huge suplex. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. He drapes Shawn Michaels over the ropes. Goes to tag in his best friend, Scott Hall. Oh, shit. Uh-uh. Nope. Oh. We'll do this. 
Oh, Scott Hall breaks it up. Too fast. And reversal up against the Irish. Ooh, look at that. Bring Scott Hall down. Picks him up. Time for some... Oh, sweet chin music! Goes for the pen! One! Two! Oh, and he kicks out. Oh, my God. Ooh. Who just kicks out a sweet chin music like that? Evidently Scott Hall does. All right. With some out. Oof. Goes back. All right. Uh-oh. Triple H, the game is in. Multi-time world champion. Multi-time other things. And currently the creative guy in WWE. He's like, he does everything, I'm pretty sure, in WWE these days. Picks up Scott Hall. Look at this. So far, the Outsiders have been no match for Degeneration X. Once again, WWE bearing WCW talent. Oh, Scott Hall back. Back a little bit of... Uh-oh. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, there's Triple H. Oof. Goes for the knee. Let's see if he got it. Ah, oh, he got it. He got it. That was a huge win of opportunity. Look at the brute strength of Triple H. Dump Scott Hall. Looks to get him in the DX corner. Oh, look at that. Big clothesline against the corner. Picks up Scott Hall. Oof. Nasty. Uh-oh. Oh, look at that. Big spine buster there from Triple H. Setting him up. Setting him up for the pedigree. Here comes the pedigree on Scott Hall. He's already eaten one sweet chin music and he opened him up. Oh my God. Go for the pin, Triple H. He goes for the pin. One, two, three. DX wins. They go over the outsiders. Nobody's beating DX here in WWE. You gotta be kidding me if you think that's the case. Wow, huge opening match here on my WWE Raw. Good job. Outside, I mean, uh, DX. Outsiders were no match for you. Look at that. I got to get them in some, some like, real DX-themed stuff, man. Big merchandise sellers they are. Yeah, he says, you're the man. Yeah, we're both kind of the men. Come on, do some crotch shopping. Wow, what a huge episode have you got going on right now. I wonder what Brock Lesnar, he's supposed to be coming out here. He's going to make an appearance to the current... Unified champion of WWE. All right, here comes Brock Lesnar. Look at that. He's just, everybody's booing him. They say, boo, you're a part-timer. You sleepwalk your way through pretty much everything these days. All you care about is looking at your land. Brock's trying to tell the people to keep it down a little bit. He's like, be quiet. I need to gather my thoughts. Where's Paul Heyman? Shouldn't Paul Heyman be the one talking for him? Let's see what Brock is. Let's see what Brock has to say. Looks like he's got the weight of the world on his shoulders. Uh, oh, here we go. This is a very Brock thing to say. I like violence. I like breaking things. I like hurting people. I like being me. I admit it. I know who I am and I have no qualms with that. I've been thinking a lot of, about a lot of things lately. About myself, who I am, and what Brock really wants. What the hell? I misheard the lyrics. You know, sometimes you'll hear an old song and suddenly you realize you've been mishearing the lyrics. It's like that one song where like, wrapped up like a douche. Uh, it's all these years you thought they were saying one thing, but it's actually something completely different. Well, I had that kind of moment here in WWE. I thought it was one way, but it's another, isn't it? That is a very loose metaphor, Brock. Um, I want a chance to make things right. I may never be truly liked by the WWE universe, and that's okay. I can accept that. The only thing I really want is a chance to make things right with you all. I want an opportunity to earn back your trust and, more importantly, your respect. Wow. Deep words from Brock Lesnar. No more. I'm not going to bring the authority in this. No more cutting corners. No more schemes. No more playing dirty. I want to prove that I'm good as they say I am. I want to show that I'm worthy, et cetera, et cetera. I'm turning into a boring baby face. I'll make you guys proud. So if you don't want to cheer for me the next time I come out here, that's okay. You have every right to voice your opinion. All I can say is I'll do everything to make you guys proud. Thank you for understanding. Wow, Brock, you're turning into a very boring superstar. That's really not what I wanted him to say when he came out there. I wanted him to just use a bunch of curse words and talk about Bud Light. But you know what? Who cares? 
I'm not going to tell Brock Lesnar how to like what to say when he goes out there. I'm going to give him a mic and say, hey, Brock, this is what I'd prefer you say. Evidently, he had something else in mind. So, yeah, what are you going to do? All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. Very exciting match. What an epic dream match this is right here. Steve is booking things. And Steve is going to... Oh, wow. Brett the Hitman Hart is here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Daniel Bryan's got a steel chair, ladies and gentlemen. He's coming on down. Oh, it keeps on having to stop because it, Bret Hart's got his entrance thing. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Yes. Yes, the fans are going crazy over Daniel Bryan using a steel chair on Bret the Hitman Hart. Oh, look at that. Big running drop kick. Maybe that's an insiguri. I never know what the difference is. All right. Oh, shit. Uh oh, Bret. Oh, man. Look at Bret Hart. He no sold the chair shot. He's going into Daniel Bryan immediately. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, be careful with his head, Bret Hart. He's got concussions and stuff. Oh, my gosh. He just stomped his head. There we go. Oh, Daniel Bryan back on the offensive. Oof, big double axe handle for Daniel Bryan. Oh, big kick. Oof, oh my gosh. Look at those nasty kicks from Daniel Bryan. It's all sorts of strikes going on here. And he says, yes, and the crowd is huge into it. See, I knew if I told Vince, hey, look, you got to let... See, here's what I did. I told Vince, I said, Vince, really... Do you need all these doctors telling you what you can and can't do with your product? I don't think you do, man. And he said, that's a good point, Steve. You don't, I don't need all those doctors. So look, let the men wrestle. Let them take personal responsibility. If they want to go see a doctor, we'll pay for it. We'll pay for the doctor. But we're not going to tell them what they can and can't do. They sign, away, they sign liability waivers away, Vince. So you're good. Can't sue you. Ooh, look at that Bret Hart really taking it. Daniel Bryan. I tried to roll out of the ring. Oh my goodness, look at that. Figure four leg lock. Uh-oh. Come on, Daniel Bryan. Oh, there you go. Look at those big slaps from Daniel Bryan. Ooh, oh man. Reversal from Bret Hart. Oh, reversal from Daniel Bryan. Big drop kick right there. Gets Bret Hart up. Uh-oh. Time for some yes kicks. Oh my gosh. Two, three, four yes kicks. Five yes kicks. Six yes kicks. And... Oh my gosh. Bret Hart just got kicked in the head from Daniel Bryan. Two. Ooh, Bret Hart kicks out at two. Sweet. Oh man. Picks up Bret Hart. Uh oh. He's got him in a, oh my goodness, this is a yes lock. But he's also right next to the ropes. Can Bret Hart reach the ropes? Ah, oh, shit. No. Oof. Nasty kick from Bret Hart. Uh-oh. Daniel Bryan's got his foot. Ooh, look at that. Wrenches that foot. Bret Hart writhing around in pain. Picks up Bret Hart. Oh my goodness, discus punch attempt. Uh-oh. Ah, shit. Too late. Oh, no. Nasty pile driver from Bret Hart on to Daniel Bryan. Bret Hart just stands there, waits for Daniel Bryan to get up. Ooh, Daniel Bryan gets out of the way. Big kick. Uh-oh, fast strikes. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, my goodness. Whoa. Nasty strikes there from Daniel Bryan. Ah, oh, hit that discus punch right there. I love the discus punch. One of my favorite moves. Sends Bret Hart over the top rope. Uh-oh. What's Daniel Bryan going to do? He goes up to the top rope. He goes up to the top rope, turns around. Oh, my goodness. Bret Hart gets out of the way. Daniel Bryan probably should not have done that. Oh my gosh, a sharpshooter to the outside. This might be a false count anyway, I'm not sure. Ooh, uh-oh. There you go, Daniel Bryan. Come on, get out of it. 
There you go. Getting back in the ring. Oh, look at that. Huge drop kick from the top rope. He goes over to Brett. Picks him up. Oh, oh. That was weird. Thought it was going to be a discus punch, and then it wasn't. Oh, got a signature loaded up. I like this better than my finisher. Oh, look at that. So many devastating kicks. And oh, yes! Oh, so many kicks. Goes down. The count. One, two. Winner by way of pinfall. Daniel Bryan going over Bret Hart. Look at that. Very excited for Daniel Bryan right there. Nice. Look at these replays here. Oh, look at that. That's a concussion right there. Oh, but look at this pile driver from Bret Hart. Oh, man. Uh oh, one more. Oh, another kick to Bret Hart's head. You're not the excellence of execution today, Bret Hart. Uh-uh. Look at that. Daniel Bryan. People love Daniel Bryan, man. I'm telling you, don't worry about what the doctors say. Just go out there and wrestle, man. Put on a good show. All right, here we go. Moving moving along, ladies and gentlemen. Look at Finn Balor has got his microphone with him. He's about to drop a promo right here. I wonder what Finn Balor has to say. Looking pretty good. It's got the Balor Club behind him in full force. I wonder who he's going to call out here. Uh-oh, Finn Balor's on the mic. He says, shut up and listen. Well, shut up, Balor Club. I'm not going to yell over you loudmouth idiots, so keep your trap shut while I handle some business. I said, shut up. <laughs> shut up, damn you. Uh, I'm about to open a can. Someone in the back has been trying to get my attention like a little kid tugging at your pant leg because they want a cookie. Well, I'm about to open something, but it ain't a cookie jar. It's a big old can of whoop ass, son. <laughs> Finn, Stone Cold Finn Balor, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see. Uh, better hurry up. Shinsuke Nakamura, I'll give you until the time I finish talking to get out of here and face me in this ring, Shin, before I get even more pissed off. Let's see if he, let's let's see if Shinsuke comes out. Oh, there he is. Look at Shinsuke. He's gonna come out here and drop. A nasty promo on Finn Balor. Based. I wonder what he has to say. Man. Man. Finn Balor's coming to the ring while Steve gets on Twitter and sees the trending topics. Monday Night Raw by Book Steve Books Raw. That's number one trending in the world right now. Yes, it is. Shinsuke gets in the ring. He's going to confront Finn Balor about this. And he says, you know, I'm not normally one to come out here and talk. I prefer to let my fist do the talking for me. But I asked for this time so I could address a few issues that have been bothering me. I got a lot of problems with you people. Finn Balor says, this is why you have no friends. Cuts to the heart. This is why you have no friends because you have to make everything about yourself. But here's the thing. You're not that interesting. So why don't you find someone else to bore? Wow. Shinsuke says, I came out here to make things right. For once, I want to put our differences aside and speak man to man, superstar to superstar. Uh, you're the blend. He's just going to keep on insulting him. I can't take you seriously. You're maybe the most boring superstar I ever met. You're as bland as water. You're more vanilla than vanilla. I'd rather stare at a wall and watch paint dry and listen to you. He's just chock full of... This guy's got really small nipples, huh? I don't know whether to attribute the words coming out of your mouth to courage or stupidity. Either way, it makes no difference. I'm publicly requesting that. God, get the authority out of it. The authority grant my wish to give me the opportunity to stuff each of those words back down your throat. Come on. Uh, I want to settle it. Going to settle it. There's nothing I like more than settle this once and for all. When that happens, you can sure as hell bet I'm going to give it a mile and expect nothing less from you. Because I want no excuses. All right. Yeah, all right. Well, just awkward. Oh, oh my God! Shinsuke just laid into Finn. This is going to start some shit here. Uh-oh. Finn with the reversal. Oh, look at that. 
Come on, Finn, do your suicide dive thing. No. Damn it. Do a suicide dive. Oh, oh, oh my god! Finn Balor just flew! Oh, look at that. Heel move after being sucker punched by a face. I'm not really sure. Not quality booking here, Steve. But I'm dealing with my first day on the job. Oh, Rainmaker! Shinsuke dropped a Rainmaker on Finn Balor! Shinsuke dropped a Rainmaker! From his old chaos stablemate, Okada. Oh my gosh. Shinsuke. Oh shit. Oh my gosh. Separated his shoulder. Finn's out of action now. Man. Wow, look at that. Shinsuke Nakamura. Uh oh. Finn Balor. Shouldn't have come back out here, Shinsuke. Oof. Jawbreaker. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I'm going to do this again. Oh, 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 Finn Balor launched over. Oh, another Rainmaker kind of was the clothesline. Look at that. Referee has to stop it. This isn't a match. This isn't a match. You stop it, Shinsuke. You stop it. Oh, look at that. Wow. Very hot action here on Raw. Physicality, brutality, violence, ratings. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are. It's our main event of the night. It's Asuka versus Charlotte. There's Asuka. Look at her. Looks like a million bucks wearing her. She's still wearing her NXT championship. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. She's still Asuka. And she's still the NXT Women's Champion. She never relinquished the NXT championship. That's right. Very impressive. Keep it moving on. Let's get, keep going. We're going to cut to commercial here. Oscar's waiting for her opponent. Charlotte. Uh oh, there she is. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. The women's champion, Charlotte. That's right. Looking like a million bucks with that women's championship. It's coming out to face Asuka. Well, that's a good looking Oscar right there. They did pretty good. Oh, look at that. Immediately comes out with a big drop kick. Uh-oh. Ooh, basement drop kick. Oh, look at that. Getting the crowd into it. People love Asuka, man. Oh, no. Big bulldog by Charlotte. Asuka should not have been taking Charlotte lightly. Oh, look at that. Head scissors right there. Asuka's going up to the top. What's she going to do? Oh, swing and a miss. Another drop kick, and she's going to go for another one. Asuka looking to assert her dominance here in the women's division on Steve's version of Raw. Oh, missed. Uh-oh. Oof, huge window of opportunity for Asuka. Oh, my God. Look at that. Oh, nasty strikes. Oh, giant kick right there. This is a, this is a meaty match right here. This is a very violent encounter. Oh, shit. Oof. Big takedown there from Charlotte. Loads up. And... Oh, my goodness. Let's try a page straight out of her dad's book right there. Oh, my gosh. Another big knee. Oh, shit. Missing all these damn reversals here. There we go. I got that one. Big window of opportunity. Oof. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Goes for a senton. Misses. Or was that an elbow? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Oof. Really doing a number on Asuka's leg. Charlotte is the women's champion for a reason. She's given Asuka a good bit of good bit of business here. Asuka gets back in the ring. Oh my goodness, look at that. Now she picks up Charlotte. Irish whip into the corner. Oh, followed by a drop kick. Picks up Charlotte. Oh my goodness, look at that. Kick to the gut, off the ropes, and oh, the hip attack. Picks up Charlotte. Looking to get this finished off and show the current women's champion why Asuka is the one to beat. Can't do any top rope moves. What a bummer. 
Oh, look at that. The people are huge into Asuka, ladies and gentlemen, on my version of Raw. That's right. That's what we do here on Raw. Asuka's looking to finish this off. Charlotte, I think, felt that Asuka was a little more than a developmental champion. Uh-oh. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Right into the ropes. Picks up Charlotte. Uh-oh. 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 Here we go. Oh, no. Look at that. Oh, she goes for the submission. She goes for the submission on Charlotte. Come on. Get over there. Get over there. Get over there. Damn it. Charlotte gets out of it. Or she's getting out of it. Oof. Nasty shot to Oscar's head. Oh, Oscar says, uh-uh. I don't think so. Oh. She goes for the drop kick. Misses. But another great reversal. Another drop kick. Really has Charlotte on the ropes here. On the first episode that I'm booking of Monday Night Raw. Reversal in the Irish whip. Oh my goodness. Big stiff forearm from Charlotte. Also gets out. Back in. Oof. Nasty. Oh my goodness. Big spear, I think. Uh-oh. Char Charlotte, she has a finish waiting to go here. Let's see if she can hit Asuka with it. Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. Asuka almost had the reversal. Charlotte picks her up. Oh, shit. What's she going to do? Oh, no. What is this? Uh-oh. Oof. Backpack stunner. Oh, my gosh. That was devastating. Rolls Asuka over. Uh-oh. What's this going on here? Some sort of wheelbarrow into an Alabama slam. Ouch. That's not an Alabama slam. That's like just a face buster. I think. I don't know. I'm not really good with move names. I'm dragging Oscar around. Oh! Works over that knee. No doubt. Hoping to lock on the figure four or figure eight. With the bridge thing to it. Oscar's getting up very slowly. Very slowly. Building up her strength. Charlotte's not taking advantage. Oh, Asuka's back. Oof. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. More shots. Oh, my God. More shots. Oh, my God. Goes for the pin in the middle of the ring. One, two, three. Winner by way of pinfall, Asuka, the NXT champion, sending a message to the women's division here on Monday Night Raw, booked by Steve. Wow. Look at that. Oh my goodness, these re replays are amazing. The brutality involved in them. Oh, look at Asuka. Will she be granted a championship opportunity by eh, this guy right here, the head booker? Look at that. I certainly think she deserves but we'll see. You know, I got to run it by Vince first. Make sure he's okay with it. Anyways, hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you guys think it sucks, let me know. Uh, if you have any comments, put them in the comments below. Till next time, we'll talk to you guys later.